Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Perry Richardson from Scriper, and you're watching Show Me Your Pick with Brooke Kate Tony. Rock on. All right. Hello. Lift off. Hello. We are live. Yes, we Hello. are. Nine o'clock on a Saturday night. Show me your pick. Oh, April 13th, 2024. Yep. It All is. Right. Fruitcake okay. Tony Brandon B. Squared. Ed DeBrill, Charles Green in the house. What's up, fellas? Good. What's up? Right. What's going on, man? What is good? in the hood it's but saturday night that's what's good it is saturday night it's lovely yeah. saturday night best yeah, night of the yeah. week My spring opinion. spring's here uh, my favorite spring. time of the year uh, really yeah uh, look it's only 201 days to halloween all right all let's right. just keep yeah, respect yeah. you guys all right all right yeah, <laughs> yeah. i I, we we already I already said I don't like spring, but the spring a lot of people love spring. Well, it's because allergies, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm allergic to spring. I don't like <laughs> it. So I, I keep telling Meg I'm gonna you know take one of those jobs in the Arctic Circle, you know, doing like <laughs> ice core samples or something. Yeah, yeah, that's you, dude. I need to do that. So I, I think you've been jumping in that lake too long. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or, or I watched the thing too many times, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I am so glad that that spring is here. I can't tell you how glad I am. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, golf, right? Yeah. Well, among other things. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Well, it is the Masters, so. It's Masters week. It is. Yeah. Tomorrow's the final day. I don't know. It's, it's, Tony's I, I, mind is on the course right now, you guys. He's there. Is. Okay. He's just there. Period. Yeah. No, no. He's got his mouth full of sunflower seeds. He's got a cigar in the holder. Yeah. He's got got <laughs> like the little the little beer tap thing like uh, Rodney Dangerfield had in Caddyshack. <laughs> he's know? doing the whole fresh cut grass Cost, thing and Cost stereo. Oh, yeah. Who is that? Chubbs? Yeah, Chubbs. Yep. Yeah, he loves the smell of the fresh cut grass in the morning. <laughs> oh my goodness, Tony, you guys, he's a golfing nut. No. Well, it is kind of... nice weather, though, here in the south, though. It it's has rained this there, week, but it's been nice for a couple of days. going to be nice again tomorrow. Good. Um, yeah, so yeah, that, that means that I'm... I'm I'm going to be out on the golf course. I wasn't out there today, but I'm definitely getting up early and heading that way Very nice. in the morning because I want to get back in the afternoon to watch final round of the Masters. Yep. You know, so so here here here's my plan is in the afternoon I got these New York strips marinating, right? Mm. Okay. Yeah. I cut sound off on TV at five 
because OU812 mm. comes on at five, and you want that. They have their little jam house speakers, yep. right? Ambiance. Right, right. So you watch the final round of the Masters until the end. And by that time, Ryan will be done anyway. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Uh huh. Works out well. Yeah. I was like, you've got your day planned out well, brother. And no yeah. rain in sight. I believe the weather is going to cooperate with your plans. Finally. I know. Because it's, it's killing me. <laughs> All this foliage and fauna and crap falling is just choking pool. my world, baby. It's choking but, the uh, All right. <clears throat> deal with it. Yeah. We'll deal with it. Yeah. You guys are getting some spring weather up there in New York, B? Yeah, we got some. We had a lot of rain this week, some flooding. Um, my property and people around us, there used to be a pond back there, but they drained it. <laughs> they drained it. <laughs> Every time it rains, it's still a pond. You know, doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not as it's big not of a pond, big. but it's still a pond. So, but yeah, it's, <laughs> it's good. We're going to get rain tomorrow, but uh, you know, that happens, you know, That's it'll, right. it'll be okay. It'll be okay. April showers bring May flowers. So they say, right? Yeah. And may flowers bring pilgrims. <laughs> yes, <they do. laughs> yeah, I pretty much got the same weather as you, so it, it was yep. terrible yesterday. Yeah, it was bad. Ugh. Wind yeah, and I mean, rain. There, there and... was a couple of instances of sun, but all of a sudden it would just downpour, you know? Yeah. But it's I think it's been wetter up here than normal. But you you might be right. I don't know. Well, yeah, every, every April historically, there's there's East Coast storms that that roll through, and some can be strong, and but this this week's round was yeah. not. Yeah. Um, but it's all cleared out. We all did get a lot of rain earlier in the in the week. Um, I, I I don't know how it works, but for some reason in July there'll be a drought. Or something, and we won't have any water. Yeah, right. So, you can't <laughs> use the water. Well, yeah, between the hours of. Uh, I don't yeah. know. I haven't. I haven't seen a drought in a while, in a few years. Yeah, but I remember when they used to cut off the water, and yeah. you see nope. those news stories of people driving. Hey, hey, turn that off! Stop watering your lawn. You know, so, you it, washing your car? Cut that out. Yeah, yeah I have a. <laughs> I have a well. I have a well. People put signs in front of their houses. I have, I have a well. Don't bother me. You know that kind of thing. Like really? Don't don't. don't yeah, like don't don't you don't try to tell on me because I have a well. Uh, I can anyway. remember being young in California as a kid, and um, not only was gas every other day, depending on you know the tag, even or odd, but there was a period where you had you couldn't water your lawn on certain days. It had to be this or oh, that. Wow. And so I can remember neighbors snitching off neighbors and causing a big thing as a kid <laughs> because to, of that in California. They need to mind their own damn business, you know? There was That's one neighbor. She, uh, she was the, uh, I can remember her and her husband. They didn't like me or my friends. We were hooligans because oh, no. we rode bicycles up and down the street. We didn't have anything else to do. It was. Oh, man. I mean, That's what we did. You're we crazy. Kids. <laughs> and uh, she was the uh, she was like the watch commander for the for the street or the neighborhood. Oh, that's um, awesome. Self appointed, <laughs> right? Self appointed. Yeah, of and uh, it was funny because she was there when I was a kid, and up into her nineties. And I'm talking about as recently as like within the last ten years. My brother told me a story about her still doing that job um, wow. in her nineties. Uh, <laughs> her husband had passed away. Um, I find it ironic, but I guess, you know, what are you going to do? There's Karens of all ages. Yeah, Karen. <laughs> Every 4th of July, she'd call the police on oh, me or my friends. Because, any, I mean, we lit a firework off. My God. Ooh, one, ooh, oh, no. Rebels. So, yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. I was always nice to her, though, you know. I was a nice kid. I can't I was see you not being, you know. Hooligan. I had a couple of friends who brutalized them. They took it <laughs> personal, you know. But, well, yeah. Uh, no, so, so she, terror good. she terrorized generations of kids. 
And it to her in the 90s. And my brother's telling the story. I'm having flashbacks. Wow. Her running into the, when she was younger, when she was like 30, maybe 34, 35, and I was a little kid, she had, she put tennis shoes on, she would chase you. Nice. She would chase you. Uh, and she would accuse you of all kinds of stuff if you were. Oh my uh, God. If you were riding your bicycles at a time when there was a lot of traffic in the afternoon, we're talking about residential neighborhood streets. She was she's just looking out for you, child. Give you a, well, okay. No, no, she no she'd overstep she, her bounds, you she, know. She wasn't. She just wanted to be a pain she in the ass. Overstep. She was just in a busybody, I guess she'd term it. Nothing else to do. Um, what, was that, what was that woman's name on Bewitched? The, the name. Oh, oh, that's oh, what I was oh. just thinking of. You Mrs. Know, Kravitz. Yeah. Did, did I get it? Yeah. Wow. So that's that's your Mrs. Kravitz right there. There's always always yep. one or two of those in the neighborhood. You know, nosy neighbor. Yeah. That's Here, look, funny. I got you. You a balance to the community. Yep. I saw I, I saw know. a meme the other day. It, it said uh, neighborhood neighborhood watch back in the day, and it showed this little old Italian lady sitting on a stoop. Yeah. Darn <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, done right. That was a good one. So we we are doing Pat Benatar at some point today. Uh, yeah. And, well, by the way, pick number one ninety four. By the yes. way, Tony, thank you for you know putting me right next to her. I'll take care of her. Don't worry. Yeah. Hey, Pat. There's Pat yeah. back there. In the you house. guys got the best seat in the house, yeah. man. Background. Right. We are talking about Pat. She's got her Benatar hand on my shoulder tonight. Um, let yeah. me say this. Welcome. <laughs> Everybody, if you're just joining the show, me your pick episode number 194. Yeah, we have, um, we're Six talking Pat five. Benatar tonight. Uh, all those songs, dude. We put a poll up in the community oh. Oh. tab up there. So if you click on it, you'll see the there is a poll your favorite Pat Benatar song. So if you would cast your vote over there, oh. and we'll tally that up later. And if your favorite's not there, just leave a comment, and we'll too many too recognize many it tunes. just the same. It yeah, is. Man. Yeah, yeah, so many hits. Um, yeah. So in addition to talking Pat Benatar. When we take our little break later, our, our, our little pee-pee break or our little fridge break, our little 10-shot rock and roll trivia break, um, tonight what we're going to do is we're going to score you a testament. Oh, nice. Alex Skolnick pick like that little jazz thing a lot of you are fond you players digging all right that's what's up for trivia later alex skolnick testament pick 10 questions about music and rock and roll a lot of fun we'll venture there about the one hour mark b yep yeah i just just put my comment into uh the poll because you didn't have my favorite song on there. <laughs> what is your favorite song, dude? Uh, <laughs> Invincible. Invincible from the Billie Jean movie. Oh. Uh, love that. Love that one. Nice. Yeah. Um, th there is a lot to talk about with Pat Benatar. I remember when she came out, um, I was crisp and what can I say? Um, Green? New? Careful mm -hmm. with your words. I was in puberty. <laughs> there the you go. 1980. Uh, my first was when she came on. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, lost a few knuckle children, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Heartbreaker and all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, We're going to get into uh, all things <laughs> Pat Benatar tonight. Yeah, we are. Um, Remember when all the uh, girls, not all the girls, thank God, but a few of the girls would cut their hair like her and yeah. dress like her. And, yeah, yeah, dude. She had Great memories sure. back then of that era. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great right. concert memories, too, of Pat Benatar. 
Wait, Stacy, there are three Pat Benatars here at Ridgemont. Yes. <laughs> Best times at Ridgemont High. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a thing. Yeah. It was a thing, man. Kind of like the Dorothy Hamill cut. Same, you know, same idea. Yeah. Yes. I'm really aging myself. That's right. <laughs> a lot of the gymnasts imitated her. And I was just thinking about that. The first couple of girls in high school that I remember had the Dorothy Hamill were like gymnast athletic girls, you know, in sports. A lot of girls had that haircut then at that time. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, at my at my high school, I'm remembering the girls. You guys, I'm remembering them. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Oh ah. yeah, me too. Me Little too. Little file going past you. Yeah, your brain. Oh, that yeah. was popular hair hair did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I know. I was going to say something, but it won't be appropriate. <laughs> uh, me either. If my brain yeah. could only elaborate. Yeah. Yeah. You can't say everything that comes to mind. I know. I know. I know. This doesn't I know. work. I'll, I'll I'll go on under the bus and say it. Uh, put it in the private chat. <laughs> yeah. You can put it in the private right. chat. I'll read it yeah. out loud. <laughs> you know uh, why I like watching Under the Bus on Wednesday? Because you started the week and you've made it halfway there. Okay. And you can't decide what kind of week and everything to come. So they, you know. From the halfway point on, they kind of say, hey, this is how, how the rest of your effing week is going to go. You know. Yep. So. Yeah, and it's a, it's a, a Wednesday night, so you basically only have two days of the week left. You know, so and that sets right. you up nice. It sets you up nice it for does. the it kinda... rest of the week. They make you giggle. They make me giggle. Yeah, oh yeah. I listened to them the last couple of weeks. I haven't been live on the show, you know. I've been able to been in the chat, so I've been doing it as a repeat in my earbuds as I'm working. They say the greatest stuff. It's funny as hell. Cracks me up. It is. Cracks some, me up. I love those guys. Good, uh, some pretty good comments there in the in the chat, Tony. I know you don't have it open, but I'll just read this one. And Andy, is this the? Pleasure my pleasured myself to Pat Benatar support group. <laughs> it, it can be. <laughs> well, Andy. Yeah. Uh, you're not, I've got you're... a shot. I forgot to get. I'll I'll go uh, get it after. Oh no. Hi, my name's Zed. From yeah. Greensboro, where she <laughs> the the back the first time I saw her, she had on that one piece. You know that thing that with the red thing. belt. Oh yes. oh. Like, yeah. 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 Hotter uh-huh. than a damn firecracker she was then. Oh, boy. Yes, she was. Those early M- MTV videos. <laughs> oh, yes. gosh. Oh, man. Shadows of the Night. I know. You know hit it with your best shot. I know. Holes for children. Bang. Love is a battlefield. Oof. It can be, yep. She she was... <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> I can find I think I read that the video, her first video was the second video ever on played M- yes. on MTV, right? It was. First one, of course, was Video Kill the Radio Star. Yeah. And hers was, se- hers was second. Which one, though? Was it, I don't remember which one. Uh, um, you know? Heartbreaker or My, uh... Love No... The first video, it's in the um, it's in the poll. It's one of the songs in the poll. Oh, uh, you better run! Yeah, it's you better run. You better run. What are the other? Oh, geez, I got that in my. No, you better run is the song that was on MTV. What, what I are have down all in my the? Thing. What are the um songs in the poll? I uh, close. There's hit uh, hit me with your best shot. Shadows you better run. Love is a battlefield. And shadows. Uh, shadows of the night. Yes, those are the four, right? And no hell is for five? children. No, no, no hell is for children. No invincible. No, there's one no. more. There is. I, I, 
All right, now I got to go look. Hang on. See, that's the problem. No, with promise, somebody... no promises in the dark. That's my favorite Pat Benatar song. That's the, my second one, Charles. Promises in. So you better run, mm-hmm. Heartbreaker. Hit me with your best shot. Shadows of the Night and Love is a Battlefield. Love is a Battlefield. Yeah. yeah. See, that, that's the problem with somebody so proficient in, you know, hit making is you can't. How many? How many? You can only put five, right, Tony? Yeah, up there. Yeah, so but... I love. Yeah, I do, I love when that when that kicks in, Charles. You know, the, the, hell is for children. The, Jeff K says I was going to say that one too. Yeah, that's, pretty, that's a good pretty, one. That's a good one. But yeah, the uh, promises and the you know when when that go you know it starts out nice and slow and then it gets rocking, man. You know. Yeah. That might be the video I saw when her in that firecracker outfit, Tony. <laughs> I think you might be right. That's the, yeah. one that they always, that's the one they always play. Right. Getting hot in here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Whew. Eesh. Turn the fan on or something. That's a good thing, though. That is oh. a good thing. Edward. Been cold for too long this winter. I'm glad spring's here. Yeah. Glad to be in short sleeves for a change. all right um yes so let's let's open up the the chat let me crack open up open. The... crack it open they're in there running around saying all kinds of stuff 18 billion people watching yeah. all right let me all right i'm i'm gonna start at the very very bottom <clears throat> and Jimmy Ray Hawkins in the chat. What's up, bro? Oh, yeah. You Jimmy Check Ray. your mailbox, dude. I sent you out a, a, a good me. prize call pack. Me call me. God damn it. I forgot to send you pics again, Tony. I'm sorry. Yeah, I forgot to mention in the green room, B. <laughs> Nobody, I, I'm i zero on the new Brendan B. Oh, Square guitar pick. This guy, too. Yeah, and not for nothing, Brendan, but I thought we were friends, brother. I don't have any either here. What the? Either. Come on. No really? one has them. I, I didn't can't send give them to them you. Away. You sent me one, and I gave it away to somebody. <laughs> Did I? No, I gave it to you at EBHCon. Oh, that's what, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't remember. I just, <laughs> the, I, I was fascinated by the guitar. I didn't care about yeah, the picks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So just on, for I'm, the record, last week I gotta keep a couple for as myself. Charles and Ed will attest, I told you I was out of the, the lovely new Brendan B Square picks. Yeah, these, right? Yeah, those. Yeah. So I'm gonna send you this bag. Yeah. All right. So nice. You want Hold stickers it. too? Do you want any stickers? He's he's holding I've out got, on us. I've got a couple. You got some stickers? All right. Yeah, I have, I have uh, four or five. Yeah. I have some of the butt cheeks ones too. But I'm running out of those, but I can get more. I need some of those too. All right, I'll send you a bunch. Hey, and Brendan, got... you holding? Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm good hey, on man, Charles on your picks and Ed on yours. And I know who, as far as the winners, who has um you guys picks and all but nobody oh, nice. has i know who has brendan's <clears throat> new picks but um i can't charles give them away if i don't have them and put charles a package together right now right on bro thank you brendan and you you're where the hell did i put the ones that i was just going to send you Tom? oh yeah here we are and I'll I'll make sure Charles that that you have all the appropriate guitar picks. Thank you, Tony. By Mammoth show that's a couple weeks. So. Very cool. All right, let's continue. Okay. Continue with I'm the chat. Go to the bottom. The lovely Patty Deal in the house, Charles. Good to see you, Patty. Right hey, on. Patty. Patty. Hope Edwin all is going Crane. good. What's up, Edwin? Right on, Edwin. Hey, Ed. Right on, There's Andy. Very What's cool. up, dude? Right on. <laughs> Andy. Andy. It's good Andy to see you. Not visible. Oh, right here. There we go. Not visible. I can't see you, Welcome. brother. I can't see you either. You don't right. want to be seen. That's cool. Well, oh, wait, wait, wait. I got... Wait, hang on. What'd you say? You can't see him? 
right. right there, Monique. Hey, Monique. Monique in the house. Welcome. Hey. Good to see you, ma'am. Hi, Monica. It's right there. So her right there. favorite Pat Benatar is Promises in the Dark. Yeah, great, great fucking song. Yeah. All right. Let me scroll upward. There's Raymond in the house, Ed. Hey, what's up, Raymond? What's up, Raymond? What's going on, dude? What's up, Ray Ray? Ryan Hi, Hall, what's up, bro? Raymond. Ryan. Ryan. Right on, Ryan. Ryan. Works. What's up? Hip. What's going on, Good bro? Good to board. see you. Right on, man. Yep, there's Jeff K. with us. What's up, Jeff? Good to see you, sir. Right on, Jeff. Up, Jeff? You rock, bro. Right on. Let me see here. All right. I'm still scrolling. All right. Mm-hmm. Hope your week's been awesome. Hope your spring is starting off swell. If you're getting into to some home improvement stuff, everybody I know seems to be now that they can get their hands on materials after COVID, all the the home improvement and exterior stuff seems like it's going up this spring. Everybody I know. Everybody. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. I am uh, getting ready to do some Martian stuff. Murray, welcome. Martian. What's Good up, to see Martian? you. Dude. Right on, Martian. Mitch Heyman in the house. What's up, Mitch? What's up, Mitch? Good Mitch. To see you. Right there, Sorry. Mitch. Right there. John DeShane. What's up, John? John. 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 Up, JD. F you, John. All right. F you, John. I'm still scroll. <laughs> if John, you are no. just joining, say hello in the chat. It's Saturday. He, he was asking, Ed, and I told him you finally got out of the bathroom. That's why you're back. <laughs> so, <laughs> he got stuck in there, JD. You know. B forty, B forty. Yeah. So you, B, welcome. B forty. You guys rock. B forty, B forty, man. Very cool. B forty. Uh, Lewis is in the chat as well. Lewis. All right. Hello, Lewis. There's Donald. What's up, Donald? Donald. I seen Lewis yet. Let me scroll up. Donald, right on, man. He, he must be down at the bottom. I'll go back down there. Kind of Boner Jam's in the house. Boner. Boner. Yes, he Always is. Good You're Boner. You, bro. you rock, brother. You keep him in the shorty grass. You know, the little one where you got to concentrate two seconds a little longer to keep it there, you know. That's right. I told you guys, he's on the course. He's on the course, man. No, I'm not. No, no, no. Just try to keep it between the between the ditches. I heard a bad report about State Farm, but I'm Uh-oh. not going to. He don't work for State Farm. He was on fucking camp. Oh, good for him. All right. State Farm <laughs> is there. They shut down a lot of people yeah, in California. Thank you. Look at Jake's a douche. What are you wearing? Khakis. Khakis. <laughs> I think they did that guy wrong, man. They gave it to the other guy. The other guy's more photogenic, but I think I like that the commercial. original. I like the yeah. original one. I miss it. Yeah, I do. So what are you what are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? <laughs> Khakis. <laughs> uh, Stuff well, like a, that keeps me dude, motivated. So. Yeah. What, khakis? No. Oh. The fact R2 that was I, in the chat. The fact that R2. I ain't got to hear that kind of garbage. Good to see you, R2. Right on, brother. Oh, okay. He was in there. I think he's still around. R2. R2, what's up, bro? Edwin Crane. I don't know if you saw it. Said it. Yeah. 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 He said Edwin yeah. twice. Did you, did Edwin you go to the top? You probably went to the top. I think we got him, though. I think we I did. Think you got if you are just joining, say hello in the chat. It's Saturday night. We're talking Pat Benatar. Yeah, we are talking Pat Benatar. Yeah, we are. Um, and we're later on, major, we're going to show you a bunch of Pat Benatar, Neil Giraldo, and a couple other dudes in the band's guitar picks. Yes. Oh, yeah. 
There's No Man's Land in the house. What's up, bro? Right on, No Man. It's very What's cool. What's up, No Man's? Right on, man. Right. No Man's Island. No right Man's Land. No Man's Land. Okay, so everybody in the chat right now, here's what you do. You call your best friend who you're playing golf with in the morning or call your girlfriend and tell them to go online and tune in live to what you're tuned into right now. And let's get the numbers up a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah, so share share this over on your socials that you already got that window up there open because you're talking to somebody right now anyway. You might as well share it, right? B? Absolutely, man. I uh, I may go see Pat Benatar and Neil Geraldo in July. They're playing at Bethel, Bethel Woods. Oh. That's interesting you said that. I thought about it too because... This is like, you know, you, you catch them now, you're, you're lucky you're lucky to catch them now. I was just trying to see if they were near you guys, but they're really not. And, you know, they're in, uh, right now they're in California, and they're touring through the summer, and then they end up back in California again, in Washington. So they hit Oregon, Colorado. They hit a couple of places in New York, Connecticut, and Pennsylvania, Michigan. I don't know. I guess the closest, the closest to you would be Ohio. <laughs> That's about it, Ooh. or DC. You know, That's it. That's as close as they're going to get to you. So, it's not close enough. No, it's not. But I mean, as 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 far as the closest to you, you know. But yeah, so I, there's a couple of different places I could catch them. You know about that, B? No, I did not. No, I did not this. either. The Whiskey Company Three Core. Thanks, Jimmy Ray. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy Ray. That's that's cool. That'll be a trivia trivia question in in, in weeks or months to come. So yeah, jot that jot that down, Tony. Might be next <laughs> week's. Yeah, right. Know the show. It, could, it could be know the show. Thanks, Jimmy Ray. No, I didn't know that. What was the that's um? Cool. Was Willie Nelson the one that had the 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 whiskey, Tony, or? Who had didn't um, someone have one with a pick around the neck of the bottle? Yeah, that's Willie's. Okay, yeah, yeah. Whiskey River. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of artists have like signature alcohol. We know one. All roads, right? Right, Charles. You know, John right. Bobo, right on, Sammy, man. Like John Bon Jovi's Absolutely. got. John Bon Jovi's son has a. Uh, I think it. I think it's called Summer Water or something. They have a big wine thing that that a lot of people love but mm. a lot, a lot oh, of that's right a lot of uh, artists get into that stuff which is good i mean I the know. Rock has a bunch of them have tequila was the rock has tequila or vodka or something i can't remember even so uh, you guys ever ever get to tour wine country in california napa valley have any of you guys ever got to do that i drove uh, through it it's beautiful I, I used to go through it as a kid with my parents on like california road you know the classic road trip you do it on a sunday yeah. or on a saturday yeah, afternoon yeah, yeah. Um, we would do that from time to time. And I got to tell you, that's a pretty badass lifestyle living up there in the Napa Valley. In the early days when I was a kid, you could actually drive up in there and mm. some of the home, you could, you could get up in there. It wasn't so exclusive as it mm. is now. Um, yeah. But uh, grapes are cool, man. Wine <laughs> production. And I always I wanted know. to do one of those tastings. Uh, you know, roll up, you know, just go through wine country and do a tasting for a couple of days or whatever. That would be really cool. There's a great movie called Wine Country with uh, a lot of the SNL alum. Oh, it's oh. hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> there's, there's an alarming number of vineyards and wineries around our area, Charles. I was going to, oh. I was going to say that next. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Uh, certain grapes go very well in North Carolina. Hmm. There's, I'm, I'm not a big wine person, but my wife loves it. So I know a lot of people do. I just never really got into it. I, I never I don't, have either. I don't, I don't really drink that much, but 
Um, you know, sometimes after a nice, easy day of work, <laughs> I, I want to throw some back. But yeah, no, I never got into the wine. Me it's either. big. Never. It is, but never, it's big. Never. It's big. Man. It is. You know? Big it's business. Now, with a meal, if I'm out and it's, you know, I end up having wine, you know, yeah. I don't go like, out looking to drink wine, but no. sometimes you end up having wine. If there's a carafe on the table, I get a little sip. But anyway, worst hangover if you ever drink too much of it. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. oh my god! I wonder if Pat Benatar drinks wine. I bet she does. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I don't know, man. Pat Pat is one of those ladies who I, I consider her sort of a pioneer. I mean, you, you, it started kind of off with it yeah. started off with Janice, obviously. Well, I agree you know. with that, Ed. Keep going. Yeah. And um, you know, Tina. You know, she's you know, yeah. She's not a rocker, so to speak, Tina. I mean, it's. Um, but you know, it it continued. Yeah, De, uh, Deborah, Debbie, uh, Deborah, Harry. Yeah. Um, all these ladies, but but for, for, I think Pat seemed to break through more um for some reason um i mean all these other names i'm i'm, I'm putting out there they're all huge obviously oh yeah but but for right, some though. reason there was something special about her and it might it might have been just the the heaviness of her songs and the her voice is so rocking you know the first time i heard lizzie hale i'm like pat Benatar. you know yeah. sounds I, just I, like i her. think at the time Ed, i think what you're trying to say in what needs to be said is that as far as hard rock, hard rock, there was Hart Charles and other Heart, female artists of, of the like, but there were no real hard rock chicks. Well, you know? Lita Ford hadn't. Okay, Lita Ford, I considered her like at the same time where Pat Benatar was was doing her thing, and and MTV had, helped MTV helped Pat Benatar con- tremendously. Mm-hmm. However, um, Lita Ford was, in my world, kind of the queen of rock in my, you know, in, in those days for me. Um, jo- Joan Jett too, a- along with Joan Jett. But but Lita was more of the hair metal hard rocker, yeah, than even right. Joan. Even though they she came was. out of the same freaking band, you know. Um, yeah, I know, but yeah, she was harder, definitely. And, and yeah. did I hear this correct? You, you mentioned Lizzie Hale. Is she the new lead singer for freaking Skid Row? Is yeah. that true? I think she's For filling few, in. I don't, yeah. Yeah. She's just filling in, I think. Okay. 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 But, I mean, that's she's, she's going to do great, I think. Well, I still yeah. want Sebastian Bach to get back with Skid Row. Uh, They're not yeah. Skid Row without him. No. I'm being one of those guys. But when I, I saw love Lizzie, her. I love Lizzie Hale. She, her singing is, God, she's good. She's so good. And she plays homage to to pat you know um you know as as a lot of today's uh rocker chicks should they should i mean she was she influenced a lot of people yeah and and she's she's kind of ageless you know yeah you look at her she basically looks the same yep but lewis villarreal right on brother he mentions vixen yeah yeah. heck yes they came kind of after i think Vixen's got a special place in my heart Tony's. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Really one only one founding member left, but original member I should say. But Yeah. To me that's not really I don't know, I'm with you Charles. If it's not the original band, it's not the band. Although there are a couple of examples that are there are a couple of outliers that you can say that with like ACDC. Mm-hmm. You know, they were still ACDC with Bon and with with uh why can't I think of his name? Brian Brian right. So, yeah. You know, it's there are a couple exceptions. There are but yep, there still are still that that rule though does apply most of the time. I yeah, I believe so. So how long yeah. ago did she marry Neil? <coughs> oh man. Well they were an item way back, right? They were. They were married and divorced for a number of years and then got remarried, or did they just I don't know if they got remarried. I'm not sure if they got remarried, but they've been together now for a minute. For quite a while. Quite quite a while, yeah. 
And it's still touring. Yeah, we were just talking about that. Yeah. I know. Oh, sorry. That's amazing, I had to step out. Though. That is. Oh no, that that's is, okay. That is amazing, though. I'm I'm glad they're still out there. I I've seen Pat and Neil a couple of times. Have you? Oh, I've really? Never, yeah, I've never yeah. seen. Yeah. Yeah. Eighty eighty six was my year for Pat Benatar. They didn't. She didn't come through L A like that. In 82, 83, 84, even 85, she did down south, if I recall right. Nothing in L.A. I would have gone to see her. I would have gone to see her. But in 86-ish, within a year of 86, they hit California. I think she played maybe three different shows that year. I saw two. Two, one at the Forum and one at the... Uh, I believe it was Zervine Meadows Amphitheater. Eighty six. That mm. that was that was she she was yeah, that was Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She played the Us Festival. No, in eighty two, that's right. She played the eighty two Us Festival. You Us right. Festival. Yep. And right, yeah. I didn't go to the eighty two Us Festival. I was working. And so I didn't go, but I went to the eighty three. She played the, the first Us Festival, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So so I saw I saw her in 1981 in Greensboro when she she was doing her hit her hit thing, um, yeah, and me and a friend of mine were talking just this afternoon about some people, and I think that they these girls one of the two went to the Pat Benatar show. I remember it. There's a shot. I, I'll go get it from Greensboro. Um, but I saw them. I saw her again in like the late 90s. Okay. In Pittsburgh. Um. And there was a thing that they have in downtown Pittsburgh called River Fest, where they have like speedboat racing on the rivers, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. out there. It's cool to watch, but there's like um, a big outdoor festival and a big stage and she was playing, you know. Oh, wow. But this was, this was 1998. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So I went up there to see Pat Benatar. We, I didn't go specifically to see Pat Benatar. I went to see my brother lived up there. Mm -hmm. He lived, he's retired now, but he lived up there for you know, many years. And, um, I used to go up there and visit and um a lot of times we would go up there and watch a game too. Yep. You know. Usually the pirates. Pirates. Um yep. occasionally the Steelers, but mainly the Pirates. But th this was back during um Three River Stadium days when it, that was still there um, so, so her and Neil got married in 1982 and they've been ever since so they never really got divorced they, they might have hinted at it but oh really he never got they, divorced no wow. they've been married they've been married since uh, 82 you know they had a very public wow. like separation and there was a lot of slinging back and forth I, I don't remember all the yeah details. yeah there, there I, I'm, a, I'm not amazing there must have been a reason for it uh, that went beyond, beyond the norm. Well, they because they were both Catholic and they were, and they were both divorced. You know, she divorced her first husband. She got married when she was nineteen, right? So she, Dennis Benatar, which, you know, and then they divorced. I think in seventy two. Mm -hmm. But if you're a Catholic, you you're really not allowed to get married in a church again. You know, unless I mean, you can go through a whole bunch of stuff. But mm -hmm. so, so they 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 got married in Hawaii. <laughs> Like, okay, cool, man. You know, nice. but, um, yeah. 
So two days, just a couple days before the 24th Grammy Awards in 1982. Yeah. Oh, very cool. But but they they were, should I, I, I don't know if it's noteworthy or not, but when they met, they were already working together oh, yeah, on oh, a yeah. professional level when they... Yeah, she was still. I think she was still married. No, they line. divorced. Yeah, she she divorced Ben Dennis Benatar in 1979. But I think they were still. Whenever the the band started, he was the get he was the first guitarist in her band, right? He was in the original her band. Mm-hmm. So, that's cool. Yeah, they were working. I've together never known them with any other guitar player other than Neil Garal. Is it Geraldo or Geraldo? I, I think it's Geraldo. I think Geraldo. it's Geraldo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, Geraldo. Yeah. <clears throat> um, he's he's cool. a good composer. He mm-hmm. Neil Geraldo is a good composer, um, a great songwriter. But I For sure it, 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 as far as a player goes. Maybe it's just from comparison of the music at the time and comparison of other players at the time, but the the chops Charles on the fretboard wasn't um he 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 he's not Warren D. Martini. Nope. No, he's not a uh three note per string legato picking shredder. But he is a pentatonic shredder, and he—he's incredibly gifted. Incredibly that's, gifted. That's why they call him Free the Billy Spider, Billy. right? Is that yeah. what they call him, the Spider? The spider. I yeah. love, I love that. I, I mean, absolutely love that. You—you you rock three to five chords, man. You can play anything, <laughs> you know. And uh, he—he's uh, great. He Solid. has and, the perfect and and and, and maybe. I say that just because of the songs, but oh, yeah, you're not. I know you're not saying it as a, as a mean thing to say. I mean, it's just yeah, he's he's not front and center. You know, he's he's right as just, far right. as the guitar players of the day. Right. You know. Yeah. But he, you know, and not really flashy. Point. That's a good point though, because really, Pat's the center of the band. So you right. Wanna, yeah. You want to feature her, and you know, Neil come up and then, you know. Well, I, I mean, it it they were great, great songs, though. I, I mean, sure. my gosh, the, the the list is endless. Yep. You know, they did uh, they did go down a more <laughs> commercial path later. I, don't, I think that's true. You know. Oh, well, good looking monkey, right on, man. Did, good to yeah. see you. Hey, man. <laughs> First of all, you spelled his name wrong. Second, yeah, he right. didn't party with any adult film producers, dude. Get your facts straight, man. <laughs> Don't be messing with my Neil, buddy. <laughs> You'll have a bad night. <laughs> that is one band not to diss. No. Um, uh, but yeah. <laughs> Probably Jay, good looking honky. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I see a Peter so, North. In some, there, so I don't, it's yeah, something. I don't somebody know. is behind that one. Somebody uh, we might know. I think so. <laughs> I think I know that name. Someone I has think I've an seen alias. That name before. Anyway. Watch your audio. You never know. Five by yep. seven moment waiting to happen. Yep, it might get recorded. Five by seven. <laughs> yeah. Um. So so we went up and saw. She she just it ended up we I I mean I went up there to see my brother, and the you know the pirates were in town, and um. This, I think this was the, um, I think this was the, the, the 1998, the home run race. We, we went up there to, oh. to, to see 
the Cardinals came to town on oh, on awesome. Saturday. So we get up there and Pat Benatar is playing out at Riverfest at speedboat races out on the river um, on Saturday. Mm-hmm. But the so Friday night the Braves come to town and um, I think Maddox was on the mound. Okay. We didn't go. And I hate the Braves anyway. (laughs) And, and Maddox. Um, What about Tom Glavin? Do you like him? I like Glavin, but I hate Maddox. Cool. He lives in the next town over from me. Oh, he did. Oh, nice. (laughs) But, but so they, they, Maddox is on the mound. Braves are in town um, the night before, and there's like 19,000, 20,000 in the stands. The Cardinals come to town the next night, the next two nights, and this is the big stadium. This is the old Three River. They're set 60, 70,000 in wow. their seats before the game watching batting practice. Okay, that that was weird, and and this was before media, so before cell phone, so all the um, flash bulbs going off at once during every pitch during batting practice. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, he didn't homer McGuire. He didn't homer during, and that this was this was in August. Um, he was at. Um, 50 whatever it was all in the news it but he had just he hit his um 500th the night before in county stadium charles in san diego um Mm -hmm. and but he didn't homer but to, to to see that many in that stadium I, i've been to games there you know and they don't feel that big stadium that stadium holds shit eighty thousand people that old three river that big bowl it, that's it, a it, big stadium there, yeah there's multi-levels up, up there there's five levels of that but um they've since built a new baseball stadium and football separate stadium um but yeah she she was good and and dudes there at at this concert out there at river fest and and it was outside and it was loose and casual um but there was literally just a couple hundred who were up against the stage that was it Hmm. Um, my 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 question to you tony is did you visit permanti brothers who permanti brothers the sandwich shop the famous sandwich shop in pittsburgh no i don't know about that oh my god they they have like the best the best sandwiches there they're they're well known they're they're on all these shows on tv all the time on the food network show I'm surprised your brother didn't bring you there. Yeah. I might have eaten there. Mike might call me tomorrow. Say, you, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could probably put you in a food coma, so you might not remember. So. Ah, yeah. I thought I thought Pittsburgh was a really nice city. I um, I had a layover there, but I didn't get to venture out much. But it, it, flying in, I'm like, wow, well, there it is. I, and I, I I saw the stadium. Right there, right on the water. Yeah, Three River really. Stadium is gorgeous at night. Yeah. So. But. Yeah. You can see if you get it from the right angle, you see all the black bridges, and then you can see the stadium sitting there, just this big beacon. It's just badass. It's badass. It's really cool. Yeah, I like the new park though. The In the park. old park, we used to go up and walk up to the very top in right field on the fifth level on on the facade there 
there was there was a star and you know anywhere in the stadium you could see it and we used to walk walk up there and look at it but the star it was there because it commemorated the 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 only home run that was ever hit in that level the fifth deck willie stargill oh willie did it oh wow willie yeah. Jeez, wow. I wonder how many feet that was. Wow. Wow. All right, so that's the sound. That is the noise. All right, so we're going to take beard look a long. break in the action Yep. like that. Bye-bye. Oh. See you in a while. <clears throat> My but beard. we're going to venture into some 10-shot <laughs> rock and roll trivia. Uh. <laughs> so you have time to go to the fridge <clears throat> and drink and take a whiz and all of the above. But hurry up. If you're not alone, you don't have time. Oh, <laughs> All right, there are 10, ten <laughs> questions, 10 of them ten. that we have written about music and rock and roll trivia, and we're going to flash them up on the screen like that thing down there that you see, SMYP. And you're going to answer in the chat. So it's best if you want to be the first correct answer that we see, you hit refresh up there now. That might be good. I know some of you are at the fridge, you know, yeah. scraping mayonnaise on your, on your bread like that, like I do. Mm -hmm. Especially if there's hot meat beside it. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> what happened? Hot meat. <laughs> we have the meats. That's what she says. I don't know. You guys eat different stuff down there in the south. That's okay. We have. Basically, I'm into food in general. Okay, I'll yeah. eat about anything. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I love food. <coughs> me too. Yeah, obviously, me too. Yeah. I like the hot meat. I, I don't know. I want to go <laughs> home and eat at Tony's house. Oh, uh, nice breakfast. You always sound like you cook all kinds of good shit, T. Yeah. Chili, freaking steaks. Get a nice breakfast. No Dude, eating. I'm going to wake up at the crack of dawn. Yeah, you're making some and eggs. And I'm going to cook a bacon. huge I knew it. breakfast. Yeah, you're going to have some eggs, bacon, got OJ. I'm sure you got some English muffins going on. A little home fries, maybe. No, I'm, I'm getting hungry, hungry guys. Like, no. like, like, like Monique says, grits. Grits. Oh, I love, I love awesome. grits. I love grits. Grits are a, a, an acquired taste, but they are fantastic. Some butter. Oh. Mm. oh. All right. Yeah. Now I'm. You know what? Yes, it was yes. the grits that did Bacon it. I'm officially eggs. freaking starving now. <laughs> That's it. Of course. Now. <laughs> you guys show up here and yeah there's usually some cooking going on all right so <coughs> good oh, wow. luck everybody oh, be hit me a iso here uh-huh i'm hands free you got it we're gonna pop you a testament oh that's cool alex yeah. Skolnick. alex Skolnick. You know that dude. Yep. He shreds with this. Okay. You want it. He does. All right. <coughs> All righty. All right. So. Uh, why is the dog just.
did the thing on the door. I'm going to go take the dog out. It's Dad, I got to go to the bathroom. Perfect timing. Dad, I got to go to the bathroom. Get thing on the door. I hope he did this <laughs> thing on the door and not and the, not the pee. That dog is 135. <laughs> on this particular dog is 135 pound yellow lab. He is a Charlotte Street Hood dog rescue. He thinks he runs the entire house. I swear to God, he does. He Seems marches like he does, beat his own drum. I love that dog. Anyway, yeah. I'll be back. All right. Uh, All right. Love dogs. Love dogs. Love dogs. He didn't elaborate if if the dog was scratching on the door or... I think it was scratching. Blowing ass on the door. We're all... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to go with uh, scratching on the door for... Uh, yeah, that's what I call. Don't yeah. that shit. Cats are worse. <laughs> Oof. Not, my dog's got a tummy ache. I'll just leave it at that. Oh, I was up three, four times last night. Yeah, poor thing. Yeah, he just gets to the end of the bed, just goes, "Gotta go out." Gotta and go you out. know, you know that look. Oh well, he's if you know, I can hear him. I think like, he gets a little because he knows he doesn't want to wake us up, right? But I'm like, all right, I'm up downstairs, outside, <laughs> back inside, upstairs. Okay. All right, kids. Let's crank this up, man. Let's it's, crank it. Let's go there. Let's get Ten another shot winner. rock and roll trivia. First correct answer that we see is the winner for each question. All ten questions tonight are brought to you by our friend Greg at Legend Picks. If you yeah. want custom guitar picks made for yourself, you've been thinking about that. Yeah, this is who you should call. There's a link down below. Check it out. I think um, I think Nightbot's on vacation because he hasn't been working lately. Oh, uh, tried putting it in there. Yeah, I think we might ah. have to kick his ass or wake him up or something. But I'll have to see what Nightbot is. Yeah, yeah, All I'll right. take a look at it. But that's yeah. Anyway, All right, just thought thought I'd let you know. Let's right. let's go there. All Let's right. go. Let's go. All right. Who wants this testament pick? And I do. Oh, wait. I can't play. <laughs> Lucy, you cannot have Your it. Bruins are up by two, Ed. Four to two. Nice. Period. I should have the TV Ooh. on, but I don't. If I did, it'd probably show up in the mirror back it, there. It may. It may. In the mirror. It would. Uh, would it? Yep. Because it's right, oops, right there's the TV. Night, Nightbot's kind of a dick, Ryan, but we, we deal with him because he helps us out. But, yeah, it's not working. See, Tone? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Nightbot is Nightbot's waxing. making a sandwich. He is making a sandwich, <laughs> and he passed you out. He had too much wine. Told him to. Yeah. Either that or he's watching Pat Benatar videos. We're not going to see him the rest of the night, you know? <laughs> so. Try another one. Uh, let's see. B. I will. All right. So, let's let's begin. All right. Bacon sandwich. Mm mm. Mm mm. I bet he has boner jams. Sent you uh. <laughs> sent you pictures of Big Jim and the twins. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I heard a new one today. You guys want to hear? A dad joke. <laughs> Kinda. Why? Are, why are testicles called Wonkas? Because they're between Willie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard that one today. Sorry, that's good. Couldn't help it. I like yeah. it. Sorry, sorry, guys. It's a family show. It is after ten, so I think we're okay. It is. Yeah, we're okay. Hi, Ellie. <laughs> Hi, Ellie. I now it's rated you. R. All right, so we are playing 10-shot rock and roll trivia. It is official. Trivia is a fun way for us to give back to you guys, but no, there is a delay between this and where you are. So it mixes up the chat order. So what we see in our chat and what you see in your chat. So we go by what we see in our chat, Dig. All right. Yep. 
There it is. So, but this is just for fun, though. It is, so don't give us any crap. So right. don't give us any grief, especially on a Saturday. You can give us all the grief you want, but you know, we'll, we'll still, you know. All right. Good luck, everyone. We're going to go there. Question one, get ready to type. It's type time. Let's go. Talk time is over. I said talk time is over. It's time to get going. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think so. (laughs) (laughs) Who the hell was that? (coughs) Oh. All right. Number one, who wants it? Who wants the lead? Um, give me Ray. I don't know. Like just throwing it out there. He wants to jump out there and claim it. Number one, good luck. First correct answer that we see is the winner will tally up and full prize pack. Here we go. As the venue for big time wrestling on every other Saturday night in the 1960s and 70s. Considered to be the house the Sheik built. Hmm. A wrestling question. Not Somebody. No, no. Not MSG. <laughs> Cow Palace? Good answer. That's a good, no. good, good guess. Shenbala. No. <laughs> it's not the Iron Cheek. We're looking for the Yeah, area. this is region specific. You know, the venue. You could you could stump them off the bat. Oh, Mr. Mix shows up all of a sudden. Well, it's trivia time. He's just yeah. li- listening. Yeah, welcome. You guys lurking. Welcome. All right. I need a venue name. Mm -hmm. Is what we are looking for here. All right. Hmm. I'm going to stump them right off the bat, B. Yes, you are. I think wow. you are. Okay, so everyone not... give one more good guess. I need a name <laughs> of a venue here. Madison Bay. So, so everyone type in a name yeah. of a... I think that's a good venue, venue, but that's not the right one. Oh, Mr. Mick. He got it. I know he missed a, word, a letter, but he got it. Kobo, yeah. you got it. He was all over it. But yeah. we weren't going to say it. late. Comes he in late. He was saying Detroit and... It. Yeah. All right. Mr. Mick is on the board. He's on the board. Yeah. Yes, he is. <laughs> da, da, da. Okay. So, number... Two, we're going to complete the next line to a song, and you got to be song savvy here. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm trying to stump you kids now, so you almost did just testing your knowledge. It is always interesting to, to see who spits out these answers for these, you know, and sometimes you guys are predictable. And I like that. You, but overall, you guys in the chat, you got great taste in music. Yes, they do. You do. All right. Number two, we're going to complete the next line to a song. Okay. It's that simple. My wine bottle's low. Watching for the snow. I've been thinking lately of what I'm missing. Need all the words to complete the next line.
Anyone? Kiss him. <laughs> we have a guess, but we don't have an answer yet. Now, that was a lyric that Mr. I could Mick. say. Mr. Mr. Mick's Mick. running away with it again. Yes, he is. In the city, that is a REO speed wagon lyric riding the storm out. Yeah. Yep. Good job, I've Mr. been Mick. missing in the city. Bum, 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 bum. And I'm Ian. What's up, dude? Hey, Good Ian. to see you, man. All right, Mr. Mick has jumped out to a two to nothing lead yep, on early. you guys. He's out there early. Ha! Ha! All right, oh, so okay. we're going to show you a picture of a band. All right, let's see. Where is it at? That's it. Yeah. All right. Okay, so this might prove to be difficult. But good luck. We are looking for a band name. Okay. We'll show you a picture of a, a band, band, band. <laughs> Is it a band? Just, I'm just, <laughs> Maybe. I'm just saying. It might Make be. sure it's a band Maybe. name in your answer and not be. the first thing that pops into your brain. That won't help anyway. Because they're still going to do it. I know. All right. That's all right. All right, it's cool. Yeah. It's Kosh. All right. ID this band. Need a band name. Yeah, it could be a band. could be a group. Ian's Guitar Shack. could be a group. And good luck with this one is all I can say. That's right, yeah, Patty. It's, it's a tough one, man. I'm going to say that. That's all I'm going to say. No, it's not the crickets. <laughs> Death Angel. Death Angel. <laughs> hey, Millie, what's up, dude? Oh, that's good. It's, uh, what's going on, Millie? Uh, that's good, Monique. Uh, it's not Gizmachi either. Yes, yeah, supply. <laughs> Wait, that's not Jay Hannon in the middle? Come on now. No, uh, so it could be. But it's kind of looks like him. Oh, Ben, Mr. ben Tom's Mick. mom. <laughs> Mr. Mick got it. Mr. Mick has it, Tony. Yeah. It hadn't come up. Yeah, it's there. There yeah. it is. Where is it at? There it is. There's Kevin modern Costner West. and Modern West is the we're, answer. We're looking for Modern, modern West. We're looking for West. Modern West. Yes. But Lewis. Kevin Costner on the right. Monique yep. recognized him. Yes, yep. she did. Yep, she kind of laughed Mick, at it. Mr. Mick is uh, rolling with it. And Lewis, it, it was Kevin Costner, not his doppelganger. Right. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I like how you put the e, the A thing on there. Wow. Precise. Yeah. Precise. Better than that. Modern nice. West. Very cool. Modern I didn't, West. I didn't think people were going to get that because I had no idea. I didn't either, Lewis. I didn't know he had a band. Yeah, I didn't know either. Yeah, you wouldn't have a pick, Monique. <laughs> we got Modern West guitar picks around here. Oh, oh wow. Yes, we do. Why am I not I think surprised? We did a of show on about a year ago. We did a show about guitar picks for actors. Celebrities. Who play. Yes, we did. Yep, we did. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you show? You might have shown one then. Yeah, I did. Yeah, okay. Huh. It's yeah. all coming back to you now. I'm a big it's Kevin Costner. All man. coming back to you. If you build it, he will. Who sings that song? 
fuck? Oh, um, are uh, you gonna drive me nuts now? Chair? No. No. <laughs> All right. So number, anyway, number four. Uh, number four. Mix, Mr. Mix running away with it. All right. So Mr. Mick has three. He's yes. He's out to an early lead. He's Mr. killing you three. guys. Come Everybody on. Everybody else has a zero. All right, Mr. Mick is is dogging you guys. Let's let's go. All right, it's still on number four. He's Here we go. You guys. Known for helping establish the punk movement in the U.S. and elsewhere, this band is often cited as the first true punk band with little commercial play they are highly influential in punk culture hmm. punk culture hip metal should works. get this right away yep. boom hip well done works. nice job sir well done right yep. out of the gate hip metal that was a good guess andy black flag but it is indeed yeah the Ramones. yeah Yeah, good guess. Right, right. Hip Metal Works is on right on. board. Rock and Roll High School. Rock, 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 rock and Roll High School. I want to be a society. <laughs> 20, 20, 20, 20. Yeah. All right. I still think Joey Ramone looks like Howard Stern. <laughs> I know, yes. <laughs> well, none of those guys are related. None of them are named Ramone. I think they're the same person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be. It could be. It could be. Cool, man. All right, so Hip Metal Works is trying to spoil it for Mr. Mick. Let's, uh, All right, the stop the bleeding. Head Hip on to Metal Works five. is helping everyone out. All right, number five. Mr. Mick is laughing at you guys. Here we go. <clears throat> He started as a producer in 76. His first major hits came in October 78 with the UK number one single Rat Trap for the Boomtown Rats, followed in July 79 with ACDC's Highway to Hell named the producer. Right on. Who is he? Great producer. Who is the producer we are talking about? Oh, Hit Metal Works. Hit Metal Works. Right Mutt before Andy, and Andy. Oh, right man. Behind him. Andy, you were right behind him. Jesus yeah, right. came up that one appeared, after the other. Boom, right behind him. And his dumb ass cheated on Shania Twain. What's wrong with him? Yeah, what the hell? Isn't he an you know? idiot? Yes. I know. You will yeah. see a Shania Twain episode <laughs> on Jimmy or Pick in the yes. near future. Not that'll next another, week, but. It'll be another one. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Thanks, Ed. You <laughs> oh, you got that? Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Okay. Yeah. What a dumbass. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, his name's Mutt. Every every red red blooded Mutt American Lang. guy was like, "What the hell are you doing, dude?" Well, he cheated on with her best friend, and then the other way around, and she cheated with his bet, right? Wasn't yeah. like that, hey. I lost so much respect for him yeah, at that sense. moment, and the, like the week and a half, two weeks it transpired, he had no excuse. He went down in flames. Nope. Yep. Yeah, yeah. but but still, at, it, in the end, it, it's hearsay, and we're we not the saying some, right. something somebody did at lunch. Right. We're talking about private shit in their bedroom. Yeah, we don't. We don't know, but he's still a dumbass. We don't know. <laughs> right. But anyway, let's, so, let's, move, but, on. let's yeah. move on. Number six. Okay. So they it's, say. So they say. Allegedly. Me too. Andy. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. She's my, one of my whole passes, Andy. <laughs> His to do yeah. list. Yeah. <laughs> Good. For All her. right. So we are okay. So we're going to question six. Yes. We All got right. a game between Hip Metal Works and Mr. Mick. Anybody else want to join? They can, but otherwise, it's those two. What's give the it a score? Shot. Be? Three to two, Mr. Three Mick. Three two. Yep. <coughs> All right. So number six. Six. I think Andy Carson's going to make a comeback and just blow him away. 
So number I, I six involves because I'm wearing the shirt. Uh, yeah. Hopefully Andy won't get a call while. Yeah, we're, let's hope not. We're yeah, alive. he has before, but we know he's always on call. He, he even in the middle of the night. Yeah. So yeah, and Andy, good to see you, bro. All right, number six. Is okay. So this question involves a fill in the blank. You're gonna fill in the blank, and it's kind of like complete the next line to the song. But we're gonna just fill. This is a song and a song lyric, but we're gonna fill in the blank. Is all. All right. Mm -hmm. So yep. fill in the blank for number six. Good luck. Get ready. Ba -ba boom Strutting naked through the crosswalk in the middle of the week. How about that? Half-baked cookies in the oven. Half-baked people on the bus. <laughs> There's a little bit of blank uh -huh. left in every one of us. Fill in the blank kindly, please. That was like, sounds like my day yesterday. <laughs> Baked. No. <laughs> Come on, boys and girls. I know you're typing that shit in Google right now. No Jeez. hints for the Heaven. kiddos, although we could give them some juicy ones. Oh, yeah. There it is, Mr. Mick. Mr. Mick. Fruitcake. Tony. Well played. Duh. <laughs> Threw it. That was actually a good guess, Andy. He didn't have the two dots above the U, and it's not in capitals, so I don't oh, know. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's a Jimmy Buffett lyric, <laughs> kids. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Cletus. Come on, Cletus. You walk over, but you're living back. Remember the short walk? I love that movie, man. That fucking scene. Take the snap, go to crack of your ass. Oh, that Mike Douglas made me noise. Oh, that Mike Douglas. Oh. I might have Come to on, watch it again two. now. Come on, please. Come on. All right. So what's the score, B? It is four to two. Honor of Mr. Mick. Mr. Mick is spanking it. It's, it's All Mr. right. Mr. Mick and Hit Battle Works. No one else seems to want to play oh. tonight. So. Record that one. So there's four questions left. <laughs> We're going to question seven now. Come on now. Come on. On, Somebody man, wants on. it. <laughs> All right. Now, this should be <coughs> a softball because we're going to show you a guitar pick, and you guitar pick collectors, collectors, <laughs> you, you're going to be really keen on this, and you're going to answer right away. You don't right want away. a white man right. to make me more. My Douglas. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show you a picture of a guitar pick, and you're going to identify the player. I need somebody's first and last name. All right? Uh-huh. No initials, no last name. First and last, here we go. Whose guitar plectrum might this be? Look at that signature. Hmm. <laughs> you can Recognize it. Out. it. Very recognizable. Come on, kids. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner. No boner jams. <laughs> <laughs> Did you read that about share screen, B? I did, and I have it ready for you. All right, right on. Good guesses. Well, I think uh, Mr. There. Mick has it. Mr. Oh, there it is. Yep. Well, wow. I think well played, is. Mr. Mick. Holy Steven S. Tyler. I think he won, didn't he? Or no, he can still get tied. He's got five. Yeah, somebody can tie. So he could still 
so well only only hip metalworks can tie but yeah, yeah. so that is steven tyler's yes it is <laughs> oh there's there's jay hey jay jay what's, what's jay? up dude all right, right on jay he's had jay, jay the monkey guy i wonder if jay's the the good looking honky guy Jay, are you good looking honky? Well, I know you are a good looking honky, but are you a good looking honky? <laughs> so anyway. Are we we're showing that after trivia then, I guess, Tony, right? I don't think you want to talk about that. Yeah, yeah. Yet. Yeah, we'll do it All right. as we come out. All right. Okie dokie. Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. All right, Mr. Mick is on the cusp of victory. If he can hold on and par out, you know how that goes. Don't don't blow up, Mr. Mick. Just saying, buddy. Well, if if Hep Metalworks doesn't get it, Mr. Mick will win. It's the final right? stretch. He can see the end now. So, okay. all right. Yes, Lewis, that was the If answer. I'm doing well, especially in um, trivia or like golf, I can't ha ha handle prosperity. If I'm working mm -hmm. on something great and I'm laid into a game or a round like this, you can't enjoy it? You can't enjoy yourself? No? I choke. Oh, man. Can't handle prosperity. Oh, dude. I can't. You're not like um, the guy, the uh, priest in Caddyshack? You know, all the way out to the end? <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't ruin the best round of my life. Mr. Man, Mick, I hope you can hold on, dude. Somebody can play spoiler here. I do have a tiebreaker in play should we need it we we're gonna going to question a <laughs> to see what happens let's see right. what happens let's Number go eight. there okay this should should be a cut and dry simple layup this one's going to seal it for mr mick if somebody didn't get back on defense he's they're on the green. they're hey he's got the ball he's, he's got about three feet for finger a rolling in. Yeah, he's got about we two, go. three, two feet for a tap in. All right, let's see what this we got. This is it. Untended goal, um, Ed. Mm -hmm. What kind of moron hangs up after winning kiss <laughs> tickets? Is a quote from what movie? You guys should get this right away. Uh. Oh, five, Andy. Three. Andy Carson. Yep. Yes. Is the spoiler. And Mr. Mick is our winner. Mr. Mick. But he did get it after, but he spelled it wrong. Oh, Mr. Mick. You still won. Mr. Mick, you got the 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 Alex Skolnick testament pick. Yeah. Dude, you did it. Right on. Very Brother well bed. played, bro. Very All right. Well so Where'd Mr. You go? Mick. Hang, hang cool in, in the chat. Send me your info so it's at the top like that. And yes, thanks to Andy, Mr. Mick, you did it. So how? So we still have two questions remaining. Ah, save them. No. Yeah. Do another. Let's invent. Let. Let's share. Let's share the. Let's see what we can give the kids tonight. Ooh. All right. All right. Ooh, I got a great idea. I do. Mm. Mm. All right. So we have two questions left. And what we're hmm. going to do is start over. Oh. Everyone is invited. We're going to play two questions. Whoever has the most, and we got a tiebreaker that we can use, we're going to play for uh, Ooh. George Ooh. Lynch. Oh. Ooh. Since we just saw Lynch Mob. Hmm. No, that's a nice pick. Yeah. Live here on the channel. 
Right on, man. So we're playing for a, a Grover Almond George pick, and that's what he's been using here lately. All right, who wants it? Two questions for two-shot rock and roll trivia. How about it? Sorry. Mr. Mick gets uh, the testament prize. <coughs> <coughs> All right, so we're playing for George Lynch pick. There's two questions, one of which is our homegrown question. But we're still going to go to question number nine and then to ten. Whoever has the most after two questions gets the George Lynch pick. All right. Cool. Um, down. Is Mr. Mick sitting out for this? Um, Mr. Mick, I tell you what. You can play. You can play. Let him play, man. Because he don't have one of these George Lynch picks. No, I don't think anybody does. He needs to have equal opportunity. Yeah, I've got a proud moment right here. The very first guitar pick that Fruitcake <laughs> Tony ever sent me was that damn pick right there. He's about to give you guys, I believe. Oh, wow. Right on. All right. Yeah, it, it was so... So cool to see. <laughs> Sova says I do. You rock, Christopher. All right. Oh, Mr. Mick says he's going to sit out. Oh, that's all right. You can do that. Very cool. Very cool, brother. You rock, Mr. Mick. You rock, brother. Mr. Mick's giving you guys a chance. Okay. Yep. Does it I, think look weird what if Mr. Right Mick, I think what Mr. Mick is trying to say is, sh should he play? You most would be playing for a second. Yeah, he's saying you guys suck, basically. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's saying. That's a nice way of saying you guys blow. <laughs> Step up your game. Yeah. All right. Let's go to question number nine. <laughs> All right. So you are going to name a company that makes gear. Oh. We Owner pull Jones this question oh. sometimes. All right. Good luck. George Lynch. <clears throat> This popular company was founded in 1925 in Chicago and began selling radio parts kits after completely manufactured radios became commercially available. Very good question. Uh, it's not PV. Very popular company. It's not RCA. Nope. It's not Colonel's popular. Good answers. Company. Radio Shack. <laughs> Good Radio answers. Shack. Good answers. Radio Shack. I loved Radio Shack back in the day. Yeah, me too. I know. Fucking awesome. Heath Kit. Holy cow, that brings back memory. Oh, wow. Motorola. Motorola. Emerson. Wow. Um, Best Buy. <laughs> Epipone. Epipone. No, it's not Epipone. It's right Sylvania. under your lips. Sylvania. Right wow. under your lips. No. no. Wow, they, center. No, it's not they're, naming, <laughs> they're naming every radio Clarion. company that gets right under Clarion, your lips. Man, they, had I'm awesome, you. they had an awesome, they had awesome Pioneer. Now it's not Alpine either. Not Magnavox. Not Victor, not Victorola. It's right under the tip of your lips. Oh, look at that, <laughs> Mr. Mick said, "Screw you guys, I'm gonna win." <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mick did it again. I told them it was right under their lips. I know. Yep. How, right how many times have you heard me say lips. that now? I know. Right under their lips. But, but there's still right another here. question, and there could be a tiebreaker, right? Could be. Are you going to do it that way or no? wearing you guys out. You can't even stay away. You guys suck so bad. They named Man, every he, he, He's company. laying up everywhere. He knows. He knows. He was yeah. out there making a sandwich. Came yeah, back with his toes. People still. Ryan's like, sure. 
Yeah, he reached in there <laughs> with his toes and typed it out. Sure. Nobody typed Alpine or Kenwood. <laughs> I said Jeez. Alpine, though, yeah. Oh, you did? <laughs> I said it. I didn't type it. I, I had an Alpine stereo. I think everybody did. Oh, yeah. That was I the shit. Did. Square yeah. green buttons. With the green buttons, yep. Yes, sir. The glue mm-hmm. glued mm-hmm. nice in the car. Yeah. Beesman Audio. That's a good one. Paradise by the Dashboard Light. Yeah, Beesman yeah. Audio. Beesman yeah. Audio. <laughs> Bows. Yeah, hip metal works. Uh, blob punk, that was my shit. Oh, blob punk. Yeah, blob wow. Punk, yeah. I remember. Wow. Yes, sir. Those were the days. And well, it, it, in in one years later, just once, and I still had that vehicle. I I decided to go back, and so, I used to have some jamming rides. I used to have some nice rides, but. I used to have some some really nice stereo and some really nice cars that I miss. And I, you know, you get older and you don't have the jam in your car anymore. And yeah. but I decided I, I I said why not? Why, why the not? hell not? So yeah. How about the one they sold at Walmart, Roadmaster? <laughs> 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 All right, so who's on the board here, B? Oh. Mr. Mick. Mr. Mick. Mr. Mick's got one, and he's going to take this George Lynch pick. Should somebody else? All right, Mr. Mick, you are well, at me. least involved in the tiebreaker. So hang out, or he he he's saying, just give give me the goddamn question. I'm taking <laughs> shit now. Uh, all right, uh-huh. number 10 is our homegrown question where it really no. does pay that you what? Know the show. That's right. <laughs> All right. So if you were here last week, and you were, so get ready. Number 10, last week on Show Me Your Pick. We made a visual comparison between Brendan B. Squared and who? Oh, good Lord. Easy peasy. That's right, Patty. I could only, I could only uh, hope. Uh, jam. Fred yeah, Flintstone. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Body <laughs> Rebel. <laughs> Fuck you, Andy. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> oh god. Wow. Wow. This was not Correct. that Mr. Mickey, you motherfucker. These are not that Matt Roll edge seat. Jesus <laughs> are... I didn't know this was gonna turn into a roast <laughs> me show. Oh, I, spoke wow. up. I love it. That is great. <laughs> this is awesome. Santa. Marmaduke. Oh. Ed oh Seek, really, really, Jay? <laughs> Jackass. No, I remember it, and it was <laughs> candy. Uh, oh I do God. have the picture, so, yeah. Uncanny. Grizzly. Uncanny. That's a good one. Grizzly Adams. Now, Andrew Andy. Walton, that's another good one. Oh, I know, Andy. I, 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 I love you too, Andy. I love all you guys. Uh, yeah, just bring it, send it. It makes me laugh. Uh, That'd be great. That's fucking great. Absolutely, yeah, right. dude. I love that shit. Come on, bring it. Come on, Grizzly Adams, Andrew <laughs> from the Fifty One Fifty Show. Uh, well, you know, yeah, I, I could. I'm not. I don't have. Your beard's Jessica, better. Jessica Alba, Jerry Garcia. <laughs> I've been called Jerry Garcia before. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. And Andrew, he rocks a serious beard, brother. He does. Yeah, his beard is serious. Yeah. Man. He's That's got like it. dedicated growth right there, bro. Average I, I, biker dude. I was thinking, Brendan, more along the lines. I wanted to tug it like the little girl on Miracle on Going 30. 40, Yeti, yeah. like me. Some some uh, some girl at work did that. She's like, can I touch? I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Wow. <laughs> so. I don't know. I, she know Merle Haggard. I don't think they're going to get it, man. Come on, oh. you didn't watch the show? 
<laughs> Some of you that were there. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. Mr. Mick's going to take the George Lynch just, pick just too give it and to call him. it a night. Just give it to him. I'll show the picture. Now, you guys remember when um, Tony did the show on... Um, God, who was that that Tony looks just like? Uh, uh, what was oh, his name? Lord. You guys know. You know Tony. Who was that you looked, you looked just like him? In fact, you didn't say anything. And some of... I even thought that those pictures were of... The artist we were talking about, and not you. And it, till you told me, I Kenny didn't Chesney? even know. Oh, Kenny Brad. Yes. Yeah. Kenny, oh, Brad Kenny Chesney. Yeah, right. Yeah, Brad kicked my ass. Yeah, Tony does look like Kenny Chesney. He That's looks good. just like Kenny Chesney in yeah. a couple of photographs to the point where Tony, we can fool everyone in this chat. I I'm promise. Gonna, <clears throat> I'm just going to show him the picture, Tony, because they're not getting it. All right. All right. So, you ready? Let, hang on a second before All right. we do that. Everyone, give one more good guess to this question. Come on now. That's so Jim Duggan. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. I, I can Aaron, see. Oh, Aaron Lewis. Nowadays, no, 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 I no, do no. have a, uh, a two by four over there. I, you know, Edward, <laughs> <On DMC. laughs> Edward, Edward James almost. Captain Kangaroo. I used to watch that, Jimmy Ray. Edward J. Blah, 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 blah. Edward James almost. <laughs> Dan Haggerty, yeah, that was Grizzly Adams. All no. right, I don't think they're going to get they're it. Not. We're going to have to no. say put a star that in Mr. There. Mick, Miss, just, let's let's put a stop in there. All right, there it is. I'll just, I'll just Game just over. Ba -ba boom. Ready? Mr. Mick has waltz. Kind of look like Fred Durst with both nowadays, yeah, right? For tonight, I'm Fred Durst. It's just one of those days, Mr. Oh, Mick. Yeah, you so rock, dude. You there slammed you it. There you go. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. All right. Yeah, so good job. Here's the picture. Let, let me let me show show them that question again. Number 10. So last week we made a comparison, a, a visual one with Brendan and all right, B. Show them the picture. It's right over here, too. Who does he look like? There you go. It's right over here. It's John Oates, folks. John Oates. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, someone even put it in the. This was from a Facebook post that someone put. I'm like, okay, great. Yeah, okay, enough of that. Very cool. How Very you do it, me? I can't go for that. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. No can do. <laughs> yes. Yes. Speaking right of oats and barley pictures, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> One of the one of the uh, one of the questions or one of the answers to the questions brought up a point that Tony wanted to talk about, right? What was that? It was uh, yeah. Question number was it seven? Uh, yeah, number seven. Yeah. Mm, uh, so let's you wanted to, the, pick, the pick. You wanted oh, to talk? Oh, the pick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Now, so Aerosmith, you know, they they announced a farewell peace out tour and they canceled Charles all over the place, including Raleigh at the PNC Arena. And um, they've rescheduled those dates. Our date here, Charles, is Thursday, but... Have you got those, B? You want to? Yeah. Yeah, so. I'll Are they still doing New Year's there. Eve in uh, so, Boston? Oh, let's see. So September. Did I see the PNC? Yep, yep. TD Garden. December. Yeah, so September. They're coming I mean, to they, the they went on sale. October. They went on sale yesterday. So get going. Yeah, they're in the Spectrum, Spectrum Center October 2nd. Um, what day of the week is that on October oh, 2 somebody uh, uh, I got it, it. I every got time it. I hear Spectrum I think of Philadelphia it's a Wednesday yeah yeah, yeah. Wednesday. yeah. Wednesday it's a Wednesday damn it so so uh, Aerosmith for Halloween oh Phoenix Phoenix, Phoenix. Arizona 
They're coming to my area, one of the last shows. Coming to the Forum in December. They call it the Kia Forum now in L.A. Yep, yep. Kia Forum. New Year's Eve in Boston. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That's cool. That's very cool. That's great. So they're yeah. going to do the other time, too. So they- that's their origin. That's their that's their so, city. Beantown is their shit. That's yep. cool, so man. Raleigh. Raleigh in uh, February 20th. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And that is a... And the last show is near you. Well, a, so Thursday. A, yeah, that Raleigh show that Thursday, I think it is. Yeah, the yeah Madison Square Garden is closer than Buffalo. Oh, that's right. You would yeah you would go to yeah yeah Buffalo's yeah. too far north. It's I mean it's like five six hours to mile. But yeah, so so they they rescheduled the whole tour, so that's good. A lot of tours, a lot of dates. So it so, rolls through next year. And yes. yep. It so Tony, we could on. either catch him in October or we can catch him February. in February. And yeah. that's right, in either Charlotte or Raleigh. Or hey, see you. See you. Not visible. See you later. See you, dude. You all, brother. You rock, I, man. I, 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 thanks you. for hanging out. I didn't see you in the first place, but you know. Hey. I can't see you, brother. <laughs> he rocks. That's cool. That's cool that that coming back. Yeah. 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 I thought it, it it was all washed up. I thought, for some reason, I thought when they canceled, I thought there were health issues involved. Mm-hmm. And you never heard much about it after, but it is nice to hear these dates. That was a hell of a piss there, R2. All right. Oh, I, uh, yeah, what the hell, dude? I never expected to see Aerosmith again, <laughs> you guys. I mean, seriously, I had really marked them off my radar. Um, yeah, wow. me too. I, wow, I, 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 I really did. I mean, you know, they were doing that residency thing, and and I heard some things about it, and eh, they've been slowing down a little bit. But uh, I got to tell you, the last time I saw Aerosmith, it's been. 20 years since I've seen Aerosmith, but I remember the last time I heard him do Toys in the Attic. It was fucking spectacular. I've never seen him. As good as it gets. Um, I'd like to see that again. Who's drumming for him now? Didn't they kick him out? I don't know. That's a good question. Because I like the old drummer too, you know, but they had a little issue. They always argued. They always argue. Um, his name eludes me right now. That's kind of bumming me out. Yeah. Um, but him and Steven always. Joey got Kramer? Into arguments. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And uh, and him and Joey, they would constantly bicker. In fact, on YouTube, you can look back up like when they were doing, um, uh, 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 was it Pump? I think it was. Uh, some of the song, songs that were on the album uh, you can actually see them in the studio producing those songs, and you hear their interaction in real time. They go at each other pretty hard. Yeah, they did. But they're, they're, you know, I, I, I'll say this: I, I'll go see him because we're we're gonna get to see we'll get to see Stephen, and we'll get to see Joe. That'll be awesome. And Tom, that'll be killer. He's such a great bass player. Um, but there's really something that came from those original guys. Remember when they broke up? And I remember yep. going to see the Joe Perry Project. It was cool. It was cool. It was great seeing Joe Perry do his thing and everything. But, you know, the whole time, uh, everyone was just like, when the hell is Aerosmith getting back together? And it took them a decade to get their shit worked out. And they finally realized that they were uh, a magical equation and they just couldn't capture what they had any yeah. other way. And they buried hatchets and axes and reform their band. Yeah, too much of the came toxic out, toxic came twins. Out with one of the biggest comebacks, lightning literally struck twice for Aerosmith. Yep. Quite when literally. Lightning um, strikes. <laughs> um, uh, uh, ain't, I'm not going to miss a thing. Is that what it was? Armageddon? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. yeah, that was. Uh, 
God, Liz people- Tyler, man, what a pretty girl. Damn. Oh, yeah, baby. I don't know why I went there, you guys, but I had to. She makes a great <laughs> she makes a great elf and maid or whatever they call them. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lord of the Rings, right? Lord of the Rings. Hey, yeah. wait a minute. Quentin James is in the chat. Oh yeah, he uh, is. And R2, R2, R2 came know. back. Right on, R2. I think they Great. were just afraid of trivia, you know. Yeah. Very Not cool. Yeah. Afraid. R2. Uh, Quinn is right. Neil was the first guitar player on MTV. Yeah, we we just yeah we mentioned how Pat, you know, the second song on MTV was Pat Benatar. Well, the, the technically the the guy on on the Buggles played bass. So, uh, oh well, yeah. In the in the I song. guess I guess you can count that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were all like synthesizers and shit. No. No. That's right. Ian's Guitar Shack. A little Van Halen uh, trivia here. Uh, Draw the Line Tour was mm-hmm. when Joe Perry uh, made it very evident that he had negative feelings toward Edward Van Halen. Wow. He couldn't take, I, you know, that's interesting. He just, Eddie affected guitar players differently. Some guitar players, like Lukather from Toto, uh, embraced him and they weren't right. intimidated. Um, he was better you know, Tony Iommi from uh, from right. Sabbath, yeah. lifelong friends. But there were a few out there like your Richie Blackmores and uh, such that um, he just that didn't is... get, they just did not get along. I, I remember that really well. And it's really cool. We've been, you know, getting all these great books from all these great authors. And um, yeah, yeah, man. That's a really good point, brother. Right on Ian. Very cool. Yep. Boy. All right. Let's see. You have a lot of them, Tony. Stop watching twelve year olds on the internet, Quentin. But yeah. <laughs> I know what you're That's saying. Good advice, Brendan. For yeah, anybody. It is. <laughs> this it is but but yeah, they, they do. Those, those, some of those kids freaking shred. And you're like, you just open the window and throw out all your guitars. That little Chinese Asian girl or whatever she uh, oh my god she's like she looks like she's eight and her hand is like what the hell it's craziness it really is spider spider that is a really nice group of guitar picks right there yeah I got it Tony all right I squeezed it squeezed a little bit came out (laughs) <laughs> All right, so there is there is nothing new here this week. There was a bunch of shit, new shit last week, of course. Um, let me show you guys something I pulled out just especially for tonight's show. We touched on this briefly on Tuesday when we were talking... Van Halen here on the channel. You know, we like to do that. Who? Of course we do. Comes up from time to time. Yeah. You know, you can, you can, I, I, I mean, I can literally cut my GPS off. You know, you get out in the country and, you know, there's no stoplights or no nut, you know, just cut the GPS off and all roads, they always lead you right back to Van Halen on Tuesday. That's how it works. Go figure. So you'll never be late. Never be late. It's like a boomerang. All roads always lead you right back. R2, R3, bicycle, bicycle. You remember in concert, they had all those stationary bikes on stage during the show and all the girls were riding in unison to the song? Fucking priceless, man. <laughs> priceless. Yeah, Queen, man. Rest in peace, uh, Freddie Mercury, dude. Wow. Um, Let me... I got to get a couple of things out of here before I load anything new. Guitar I Man 45 is in the chat, you guys. Bo. What's up, Guitar hey, Man? Hey, both. I hope you got your your 
prize pack. Be safe, a Andy. A couple of weeks ago that I sent you. See you, Andy. Well, Andy. Andy, see you, dude. All right. All right, B, ISO yeah. me a second. Yeah. I want to show you guys this that I pulled off the wall. I knew I had some firehouse. We lost CJ Snare this past week. We did. Yes, we did. I want yes. to show you guys this. this they were they were uh, they were getting day. ready to to tour again too. You know, they they were like they were um, going to re reunite for a summer tour this summer, but. Um, Sadly, that's not going to happen. Just a few months ago, I was thinking about Perry, and I was saying to myself, you know, he's no longer in Striper, or or if he's back in, he was out for a little while. I don't know oh, exactly really? in why. Striper. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, he was. Oh, okay. I just I saw a recent video in the last couple of months with another oh, wow. bass player. I, I don't know, know the that. details, um, huh. but I said to myself when I saw that, I said, you know, a firehouse reunion, oh, dude, that would have been oh, cool. Yeah. And I was hoping for that. Very yeah. sad. Very sad. Yeah. He had a, a really distinguishing, distinguished voice too. A distinct yeah. voice, you know. But and yeah, they were, they yeah, were he great. did. He did. They were great. Yeah, and he was still doing it. Like last year, or year before, he was saw a yeah. couple of videos. He was still hitting those notes, man. Yeah. yeah look at Perry. That Perry yeah. has Perry still has the best hair in rock and roll. Man. You know, good <laughs> God, man. Yeah, we, we're, we, we're, we're huge Firehouse fans around oh yeah, here. Absolutely. Um, very, very much so. And and you think, well, why hadn't they done a show me your pick Firehouse already? There's good reason why. So we'll, we'll bring you a Firehouse episode as soon as we can. Very excited about it. And got a bunch bunch of stuff to show when we eventually do a firehouse episode but we are waiting on a very special guest that we will continue patiently waiting on mm -hmm. um it does appear that our wait will be prolonged due to um recent events there but nevertheless, we'll hold out, and sooner or later, we will bring you a a um, a cool firehouse. Show cool. me your pick episode right here. Yeah, awesome. right, right. but yeah, it, it it's not going to be anytime soon. Um, but know that that was one of the first bands who I wanted to do an episode of. I have all of their guitar picks drumsticks, passes, t-shirts, all their crap. Yeah, I do. Um, hmm. So rest in peace. Yes, CJ. CJ. Yeah. He toured with them for 34 years. Wow. That's a long time. Yeah. <clears throat> I know. Those... That band, that band came out of a couple of local bands, you know, that had Michael and Bill and Perry and CJ, and they joined up and became Firehouse. And yep. I think the timing for, for them to get signed and when, when those two bands joined, that was good timing, but as far as the whole music scene and the type of music that they were making, it it wasn't great time. Was, and they came on the tail end of when that yeah. style was on the way out. It was pretty saturated when they got there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I wish they had to come out in like 1980, D. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Can you imagine a firehouse for 10, 12 years? Oh, wow. Oh, uh, man. No, dude. That would have oh, been great. Uh, they would have been household names, maybe. Who knows? Yeah. You yeah. know. I feel bad for those bands, you know, late 80s, early 90s. We finally made it. 
Oh. That, that 1980, <laughs> that, that time, Nirvana. Frame, that Fuck. was a great time to come out. Ask Pat Benatar and yeah. a, a, a host of others. Yeah. Uh, MTV, uh, all that. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. By the time the yeah. 90s came around, MTV was crap. I know. Mm. All these reality shows. I don't know. That's a shame. That's that's like that. M MTV used to have a couple of offshoot shows that we that afternoon. There used to be a couple of something to break the monotony of the the continuous music videos. But fuck, I I love the <laughs> continuous music videos. You can Me get too. up in the middle of the night to pee and cut on a music video if you yep. wanted to. Yep. You know. Rock Lobster at 3 a.m., bro. <laughs> right. Exactly. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, yeah, that, that was the beauty of it. And, I and, remember uh, the first time Yo! MTV Raps came on. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I think uh, it was right around the time... I don't know if Run DMC and, and Aerosmith had actually merged at that time. I'd have to think about that for a minute. But for some reason, it was cool. And then MTV Cribs came yeah. on. So those are the offshoot shows. that, And there's there's a yeah. half dozen of them that came off shooting from MTV. Right. But it and stayed on 24-7 in my uh, house for the, years. These offshoot shows usually aired in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, and, yeah. and they, they yeah. would continue the re regular video programming in the evening, yeah. you know, like that. But um, the Headbangers Ball, that was our thing, you know, yeah. that was midnight Saturday night mm -hmm. at 11, you know, um, that was our thing. But that we didn't mind that so much. But once they had all mm -hmm. these offshoot shows and, you know, the music yeah so um road rules and all those i know but while it it was popular and while it was splashing it was the they had some cool contest in mtv with some really cool rock guns and roses van halen skid they had some cool ass contests you know um mm -hmm. mtv lost weekend being one of them but they had a number of cool ones. And MTV really helped the face of music and helped all of music and all, all the artists um, at that time. But it, it was a step up in the world, you know. There were no music videos except late at night, once in a yeah. while, the Don Kirshner rock concerts and others. Um, night videos. But it, mm -hmm. it was, you know, MTV was just a, a one of the things you used to have to wait a Saturday morning to watch cartoons, Ed. You know, oh, yeah. I mean, so, uh, it, but now kids, you know, and have for, for 20, 30 years now been a, able to just click a button to the cartoon Boom, channel, right, right there. I used yep. to risk getting the worst butt whipping from my father. Staying up late night to see Joe Cocker and fucking Lemmy and Motorhead on Don Kirshner late night. Yeah. Yeah. I absolutely, I, I risked it, man. I got my butt whipped, <laughs> Ed, staying up late to catch Elvis. I forget which <laughs> one it was. I think it was Beach Blanket Bingo. I think that's the one. <laughs> I could be wrong. Wow. Uh, it wasn't like Blue Hawaii, but I got my butt whipped for that. Um, Watching good times, those man. Good times. Scantily clad women in their bikinis. Hey, Shame on you. It was on at a certain time and you missed it. You were screwed. Hey, that's how I used to be with television, right? <laughs> no longer the case, man. That's, uh, hey, we've come a long way, guys. But, but when that, that stuff did air, I think Don Kirshner's rock concert aired on ABC. After the news and the late news, um, yeah, it was like eleven o'clock. But right? it 
it, it wasn't advertised, you know, it, it right, just kind right. of popped up. And I don't even think that their first, the, the a, a, I know it was on ABC, but I don't even think that it, they had a regular ske schedule for it. They would just chunk it in there mm -hmm. once yeah. in a blue moon, four or five times a year, mm -hmm. late at night like that. And that's how it started, you know. Um, What's a night flight like one of those kind of shows that showed music videos? Night flight. Wow, that's a yeah. trip. That's a name from the past, bro. Remember night flight? Yeah. I don't remember. That, that. was another one. If you saw the logo, you would probably use it. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. I'm remembering I'm having faint memories of the advertisement for it. For night flight. Yeah, it was a spin-off just like Don Kirshner's rock concert. They yeah. just come on and it was a showcase. For music, yep. Um, remember R two R three. Remember old Joe Cocker, you guys coming on there and singing and stuff. I can remember the first time I saw him. I, I was, I thought he had like some kind of a palsy or something because of the way he. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> um, I just but I, I, you know, you want to talk about unique style? Hey, nobody like Joe Cocker. Um, but that was cool, man. I remember when that he was, was so on, cool. Uh, when he was on Saturday Night Live and John Belushi was pretending to be him. <laughs> oh, was, my God. He did awesome. He did an awesome, you know, <laughs> Brian Hall. impersonation of him. Now, so, Brian now, Hall, Joe, we would have failed, Cocker, brother. <laughs> Joe Cocker ne never came up on my I'm too young to be Joe Cocker fan. I'm, I'm, I, I was a kiss kid. I liked some Elton John and Olivia Newton-John and queen and <laughs> you know before that uh, but, but once i i was nine years old and kiss came in my radar that yeah was it. it was all over there yeah. you go there you go hey gretch zeppelin in the house Gretch, right there brother Gretch. right on man all right um while it's on my while it's on my brain and I had room to load new stuff in here. You know, stuff shit, you know. I mean like yeah. you ever notice that Ed that that your shit is stuff and everyone else's stuff is shit? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's, yeah, it's saying that I have too much shit in here. Stuff. That's what it's saying. Yeah. And so I can't show you everything because of yeah. That. But so next That's week here on Show Me Your Pick, yeah, we Ooh. are gonna we're gonna be talking about. <laughs> The cars. Yes. Right on, man. Like right Casey, on. Elliot Easton, and those dudes. Candy O. What yeah. a tripping tune to be cruising down the Esplanade late at night on the weekend listening to Candy O. My God. Man. Cars were cool. Cars were very cool. A lot of pretty girls at car concerts. Yeah. I used to test my car. My Whenever I get new speakers or car stereo or amplifier, whatever it was in my vehicle, I would test it with the cars or ACDC or Back in Black. Oh, one, yeah. one of them. But the now, cars, just what I needed was great. Yeah, they did. Something about Candio was just. Mm. Their I sound. Think back in Black and Candio came out in the same month, right, Charles? Probably. Something like that. That's close. So, mm -hmm. so if you tried one, if you tested one with one and the other, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Right, because they, their sound on a CD was so clean and crisp, and and the bass was perfect, and everything was perfect. So I would throw the cars in and 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 crank it. <laughs> cool. Might blow, a, cool. might blow cool, a speaker man. or two, but then I bring them back. They were cool. Yeah, we'll talk all about the cars here next Saturday. Nice. Can't <coughs> wait. Can't wait. Like the night life.
Pity bet. Yeah, Guitar Man, Stray Cats, bro. Um, they did a show, ironically. Uh, God, where did I see them do a show? At? Have we done a Stray Cats? We did, here, didn't we? we? I believe they we did. were so good live, loud. Yeah. You Have would we? not expect it. I wow. think we did. No, I, I think look. we did. I think, I I think, think we, we did, did. yeah. A lot of pretty girls at a Stray Cat show. Rockabilly chicks are so hot. It's not even funny. Wow. Uh, it's funny because it's one thing is funny. When I was in high school, I, I wasn't really, I didn't really, uh, Rockabilly was not on my radar because I was a rocker. I was into like, ju- it, when I was in high school, I was getting into like Iron Maiden and Judas Priest and Scorpions and shit like that, right? And UFO. Yeah. And it was episode, uh, it was episode 114, Tony. September 10th, go. 2022. There you go. We did. Yep. Excellent band. Yeah. They're great. They are great. I have uh I have um Brian Setzer's Christmas album, you know. He's he's got he does a good Christmas album. That's excellent huh. stuff, man. I know. I, 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 off, I, a dangerous I, type. Yeah. It used to be I could just you know, the bands that we've done on show, show Me Your Pick, I, they just r- roll off my brain, but now I have... Yeah, but well, we have 194 of them, dude. So, I know. You know I that's a lot of bands. Yeah. So, yeah. That's a lot to keep in there. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Let me see. All right, kids. I think... We are gonna wind. We're gonna wind things down here, guys and girls. This has been so much fun. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Saturday night is always special to us. It's our favorite night to hang out with each other. First of all, plus we get to share that with you guys, and we get to hang out with you all at the same time and make it a big ass party. And so thanks for being here and hanging out with us on our Saturday. <laughs> Hope your Sunday it ends up really swell. I know the weather is probably really nice in your area. Get out. Smell the roses. They are blooming. Hit the golf ball around. Kiss the grandkids. Throw the ball in the yard. Yeah. Make Enjoy sure your, your springtime and 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 please come back here on the channel this Tuesday because we do another show on Tuesday midweek where mm-hmm. we talk all things Van Halen. We call it Halenville. It's a place and we go there every Tuesday and you are invited. We'll see you right back here, 9 p.m. Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. And you can cut your GPS off if it malfunctions. It's no worries because all roads do lead you right back here to Van Halen. And that'll be oh, on yeah. Tuesday that we'll see you. So no worries. You know, if you don't get to shower, you got enough money to get gas between now and then. No worries. We'll see you Tuesday. All roads. Right? Yep. All right. Yep. All right, kids. All right. We are going to bounce. Charles Green, Ed DeBrill, Brendan B. Squared. Good to see you fellas. Everyone in the chat, leave a thumbs up here on your way out. And subscribe here if you are not already. Thanks for that. Thank you so much. And we will see you guys next two, next Saturday. See ya. Peace. Be well. Peace.
Mike Douglas make me moist. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Hi, Pat. Bye, Pat. Hi, Pat. Bye, Pat. Love you. Thank you for the copper feel. <laughs>